All right, the playlist is the this button right here on the right hand side. This button here will bring up this playlist, which shows you if you look at the left right here, it shows you pattern one, two, three, four, five. I'll show you all the patterns. So when you create a drum pattern, let's say this is where you're gonna arrange your song. So let's say you want it, the drums to start right when the song starts from the beginning. You want drums to come in, so you draw your drums in just by clicking your mouse right on wherever you want to have it. You could draw it anywhere you want, and then you could drag it. So you just left click and it will put it in and to hear what's in your playlist if if you don't change up here from song and pattern all you're gonna hear let's say you you forgot to change it and you leave it in pattern which means that this orange light right here is uh, selected you'll see that all it plays is everything that's in this pattern the step sequencer you know just loop that over and over it's not actually playing what your song is so that that comes in handy knowing that because what if uh, the first pattern you have just those basic drums clap and kick, but then you add in hi-hats this sound right here And you forget to change it all you're gonna hear is the first pattern which doesn't have the hi-hats So I'll explain that a little bit more, but so we're in playlist right now And you always want to switch the song so you switch the song And you'll see this little icon moving across the thing that's that's showing that it's playing each pattern and each uh, information that's on each pattern. All right, so all we have right now, have, uh, all we are have right now is drums. So let's put a little bit of piano on there. We already dragged the piano in. So the next thing I want to show you is a piano roll. So what you do is you right click, and you'll see that it says piano roll. Piano roll pretty much is just a piano. That's all it is. If you look at it, it looks just like a piano on the left side. And it plays just like a piano. So if you were to have, let's like, say, uh, some kind of keyboard connected to this you would be able to control it that way but um, we don't have a keyboard right now so we're just gonna do it with the mouse so let's, let's make a little melody something real simple and have it playing while you're trying to create your melody it makes it a lot easier Something real simple, you know, nothing extravagant. All right, so let's say now we have our keys, we have our drums, we have our keys, but everything's on pattern one. So if you go into your playlist where you're gonna arrange your song, let's say you wanted it to start off, you know, with the keys first. The keys start off boom, 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 whatever, and then, excuse me, and then your drums come in after that. You don't want it to start off. Let's say we, if you just have it exactly how we have it, this is what it's gonna sound like. But you don't want that you want your keys to come in this just for example all right so what you want to do is you right click clone which clone means just make a copy of it. it's like copy paste type of thing and like Microsoft Word so you make a copy of it and now the copy is in pattern two so you'll see that it's the exact same length as the first one and everything so all right so what we want to do is we'll go back to our step sequencer and let's say we want this the first pattern Remember how I told you you could change your pattern right here? So you go back to pattern one, which is the first pattern. Or you can go to the playlist, double click it. And uh, so you see that it has both things. But right now, let's say you want it to just, let's go back to playlist. So you rename it. Um, we want the first thing to be drum. So there's two different ways you can rename it. You could uh, right click it, rename, or you could press F2, function key. So I'm just going to right click and uh, drums. And then second, we want uh, this to be the keys, piano. So I'll just put piano, and I'll draw that in. Left clicking, and we oh remember we said we wanted to start off with the keys, so you'll right click this to erase it. And if you listen, we didn't erase anything yet, so you know that the keys and the drums are still on this one. So it's not just piano. So what you do is you go back to step sequencer, make sure you're in the right pattern. So pattern two. You want pattern tune to be just piano, so what you do is erase all the drum, all the drums. So you don't go to delete because if you delete it, it's gonna take it all the way out of your whole song, so you won't have it at all. But if you cut it, it'll just cut it from that specific pattern. So you go to edit, you right click, edit, cut, 
it will take that you see they disappear and now all you're left with is piano so if you go back to your playlist you should hear nothing but piano in the beginning uh, bar all right so that works so now we go back to pattern one scrolling up or down or you can go to playlist and double click and this time it says we named this one drum so that means what do we have we want to have all drums so what you do is you go right click edit cut take out the piano parts so um, all right so we go back to our playlist we want the piano to start first all right that looks good drums to come in after the first bar which is this bar one remember the eight beats per bar so it's gonna play one two three four five six seven eight and then now it's gonna be the next bar and it's gonna be drums on top piano on bottom so let's play it and hear how it sounds <laughs> right here I, I left out the piano and that's why you don't hear it all right so you know nothing too crazy all right so that was the basic tutorial clean king aka double k double k productions ilson's birth ent signing off hope this tutorial helped you if it did don't forget to rate comment and subscribe um, I have more tutorials coming soon, so just, you know, hit me up with messages about any specific questions you got, and I'll try to make a video posted as soon as I can. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Double K, outro. Peace.